First in cell division, there's a phase called interphase. Inside interphase, there are three main checkpoints, G1, S, and G2. Inside G1 is where the cell grows first and protein synthesis happens. In S phase, it involves the DNA replication or copy of the cell and the replication of the chromosome. In G2, this involves further growth in protein photosynthesis. Next, we have mitosis. Inside mitosis, there are a few different steps. Prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then cytokinesis. Inside this first phase, called prophase, the chromosomes start to condense and the nucleolus disappears. The nuclear envelope starts to break down and asters start to appear. You can also see the spindle starting to form. Here is prometaphase, the second phase of mitosis. This is a process that separates the duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of a parent cell into two identical daughter cells. During prometaphase, the physical barrier that encloses the nucleus, called the nuclear envelope, further, further breaks down. And also you can see the spindle starting to form and the asters starting to appear more. Shown here is the third phase of mitosis where chromosomes start to align at the metaphase plate which is, in, which is in the center of the cell. You can also see the asters appearing in the middle of the pole and also the spindle starting to form all around. In the fourth phase of mitosis called anaphase, chromatids of each chromosome are separated and start migrating towards opposite poles of the cell. And the asters are also in the middle still and the spindles are pulling them apart. The fifth and final phase of mitosis is telophase. Here the nuclear membrane reappears, one for each set of chromosomes, and the chromosomes decondense. And you can see they're starting to form two new cells, or two copies. And finally, cytokinesis is the final step. In this step, everything else in the cell is separated. Mitosis is just the separation of chromosomes, but in cytokinesis, everything else is separated. And the whole point of all this is to make new cells, to repair and replace.